That's a West Virginia program that includes the name Jerry West. How, how are those, for, how's that for a list of names to be included in? Hey, as we tip off conference play in the best college basketball league in America. Juwan Roberts misses the hook shot and a cook from the outside. Crazy, you go through non-conference to kind of learn an identity, who you are, and I don't think anyone has any idea who West Virginia is. I tell you what, Xavier Francis. First two, Galen Robinson Jr. and Dejan Drew won a lot of games here. Yeah, I I'll add to that, when he finishes his career, he's gonna be remembered as the best point guard that ever played here. Timer. Battle has to create against Sharp. Gets a screen, battle, off target. Now this is already a pretty small West Virginia team. That was even with Jesse Edwards in the lineup. Farrakhan off the window for West. West Virginia would rather play man-to-man, -man, but going back to that rebounding, Josh Eiler felt like against their last game against Ohio State, they rebounded better out of the zone than they. Air ball from Emmanuel Sharp. And West Virginia ball. How about Reed's keys to the game? Uh, West Virginia is going to have to rebound the ball and take care of it. The last a good shooting team. They need to get points off turnovers and second chance points off the glass. Offensive rebound for West Virginia. A cook could not convert. Shed off the mark. They well, have you, to build it in yeah, the Big 12 yeah. in the cauldron that is on, this conference. On, on the run, playing a gauntlet of a schedule. Farrakhan drills a team at the beginning of the season. He never thought that he would get on the floor. Raekwon battles Case against the NCAA. Change that. Slazinski in and out. Really good execution on the half on the half court by the Mountaineers. Shed. Oh, finding another gear. They were in the yeah. American last year on their way to a number one seed. Cryer with the floater. Yeah, the Cougars. Six months assembling a team in the summer. Waiting on the two time transfers to get cleared, not to mention injuries. Damian Dunn, the Temple transfer. Back to Slazinski. Farrakhan just before the buzzer, again halfway down, and it pops. Chris. Tip up try, no good. And here comes Farrakhan. Looking at for Slazinski, and he knocks down the triple. Shooter again, West Virginia looking better in transition offense than in their offensive sets. Fryer with an answer, a triple at the other end. Timeout. Dunn getting into Pat Sumnick and he scores. Nice fit in Cleveland. It's the best game of Sumnick's career. A cook, he's a threat out there, and he hits a cook, a cook. Just hit. nice defense yeah, by Josiah Harris. That pivot foot was down in that paint. Cryer got the friendly bounce, and LJ Cryer we have not seen him since. Wilson has to put it up against Sharp. The step back. Oh, what a Sharp turning the corner, and Sharp puts it in with a foul. At some point, I think you've got to get Raekwon Battle back in the game here in the first half. Kresa for three. Ooh, got it. West Virginia. That was with Wilson. I mean, smack in his face. What a big bucket by Kirk Kresa. Ramon Walker putting it in. Up a foul, and Josh Heilert's going to let this team go to halftime without risking him picking up his third. Francis got his own miss, and he cleans it up. Now it is for Francis. Five to shoot for West Virginia. Great close out. Johnson trying to get three from Cryer. Offline. Five of 20 here in the first half. Good pass. That pocket pass from Shed Roberts couldn't finish. Francis with the offensive rebound and another basket. Farrakhan's trying to locate him now. Instead, the turnaround over Sharp. Offensive board by Sumnick. And Pat Good. Sumnick ends the scoreless drought for West. Out of a 2-3 zone, and he felt like they rebounded better than they did against the man. Helped them come back against Ohio State. That will help beat us on. Emmanuel Sharp. Battle gardening, you would think LJ Cryer would attack the basket. Shed finding Roberts who puts it all. Con long two. Oh, it's just the shots are such high degree of difficulty for the Mountaineers. Ooh. Shed up, oh, putting the moves on. Oh. Four minute mark here in the first half. 
where they double, they take you out of your sets, and then the ability to recover. And Farrakhan with the pulse, the three. Sharp collects the offensive rebound. Shed the lob, and Roberts puts it in. Now the Cougars are dominant. A lot of standing on the weak side by West Virginia. Slazinski against Tugler. He gets it to go. Shed against Battle. And Tugler hammers it. His third here as you're headed into the locker room at halftime. Battle hasn't scored yet. Pryor certainly has his third triple of the. Dunn on the drive. Oh, Dunn shifting gears. I was looking at Keith Kimball like, you're not going to call that? No, play on. Pryor, can you take me higher? His what do you change defensively if you're West Virginia against L.J. Pryor? Well, you, you, you've got to double him every time he gets the ball. The problem is he's been passing so... Cryer through the back door. Ooh. Oh, erased by a Cook. That's the second spectacular defensive play we've seen from a Cook. And Slazinski all the way to the rim. Look that, another perimeter block for the Cougars. Sharp to the rim, and he puts it home. <laughs> battle averaging 27 points per game has not yet scored. Cryer steps into another one. A rare miss today. Held as the Big 12 season moves along. Cryer over battle for two more. Sumnick over the 18-year-old Tugler. Shed. A little too much. Oh, he tipped in his own net. Boy, Battle needs a basket. 0 for 6 today. And Battle will at least go to the... You experience the culture that Kelvin Sampson has. You don't... You may not know what playing hard is like. Dunn launching a three. It's good! Some of Houston's non-conference yeah, games in November and December. Think of the same thing. Shed the steal. And Jamal Shed rolls it in. And a rebound by Tugler. And Tugler at the other end with that picking up a loss. But a great start to the non-conference, or a great completion to the non-conference for all three of those teams. Risa puts it in the first. And again, you're talking about them being perhaps the best defense so far that Kelvin Sampson has had as Dunn leans in and hits right before the buzzer. 40 to 6 in favor of Houston. Francis. Oh, muscles. Roberts downhill. The kick to Sharp. Cryer takes it back. Had no chance with this as a kid who had a huge scare as Sharp gets stripped. West Virginia in transition here. Farrakhan reverses it home. You know, the Cougars not only have played great defense, they've been able to do it without Ballany. Roberts, the extra feed. Tugler's foul. He's fifth on that list. Battle? No. And Wilson drops it home. Roberts left it short and allows him the ability to attack off the bounce. Good pass. Nice find. Pat Sumnick puts it in, so the assist for battle. Wilson turning the corner. The Texas Tech transfer. Tugler post to post and Robert. Who you are, right? I, I mean, just from a roster and playing time, they're completely different than they were three weeks ago, and they'll be completely different in another three weeks. Sumnick lays it in. Shed to Roberts for the stop.
Shedd to Francis on the pick and roll. Jamal Shedd has it. The pick and roll defense for the Mountaineers has not been very good here this afternoon. Good finish. Sumnick going up strong for West Virginia. Him to build on. Heading into the rest of Big 12 play. Shed to Dunn. And it's another triple. Field goal is all season coming into this game. That was his second. And Sumnick again on the interior. Nice catch. Woo! Oh, and Battle puts it down. Oh, 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 man. That's how you come up with your 10 points today. It's a career high for Sumnick. Wilson open look for three. And he knocks it down. Elvin set him up. Season. Sumnick again down low. Has been good, right? Here in Houston. Walker hits the triple. Now against Sumnick. Elvin offline. This game from the get go, they did it with suffocating defense. This is the largest win for the University of Houston. The opener for the Houston Cougars is a winner 89 55. New home in the Big 12. Well, a hard afternoon for this team at the end of practice yesterday. There's a lot of excitement with the first Big 12. So, what we're gonna play harder all of a sudden? No, we're just gonna play.